Today we're talking about cost of living in San Antonio in 2023. All right guys, let's get after it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jonathan. This is Trevor. We're the Alamo City Living Team. Here we talk about everything that you want to know about living in San Antonio. And we are also licensed real estate agents, which means we would love to help you and your family with all of your real estate purchase needs. So the number popping up on the screen is how you get a hold of us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move here to San Antonio. And before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We post videos every week and you don't want to miss them. All right guys, so if you're planning on moving to San Antonio in 2023, one of the main things that you're gonna be asking yourself is, well, how much does everything cost to live there? So today we're gonna get after it. In a nutshell, San Antonio is about 8% less than the national average as far as the United States goes for cost of living. Mm -hmm. Now, things factor into this are gonna be things like housing, utilities, transportation, grocery bill, things like that. And we're gonna break those down a little bit further for you here in just a second. All right guys, so first thing that we're gonna discuss today is housing, um, which is one of the largest contributing factors to that lower cost of living. So average home price right now is about $365,000 now, which is quite a bit lower than other places in Texas and even the rest of the United States, man, if I'm not mistaken. Right, yeah, Austin. So average home price in Austin is 577K, LA 975, and New York 820. So 365 compared to those other major cities, I mean, yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of variables that go into it. Um, just because we have a lower uh, home price does not mean that your payments are going to be a crazy amount lower. You know, interest rate factors into this, your insurance. And it may not be something that you catch at face value, right? Where it's kind of a unique thing to uh, to the area that we live in, right? Well, I mean, it's known, it's, it is pretty well known that Texas has some pretty high property taxes. Um, we, you know, we get calls from people all over the country and they always say, hey, as we're doing our research, man, your property taxes are super high. Yeah, we do have higher than average property taxes. Um, but we don't have state tax. Now, our property taxes are tied into what we call our independent school districts. So each school district, uh, really depending on how good the school district is, you might have higher property taxes. Um, on average, you can expect to pay about $5,400 um, a year in property taxes. We've seen some neighborhoods here in San Antonio that have property taxes, you know, $10,000 or more. We, you know, we see, do see some where property taxes are right around $4,000. So, you know, it really just kind of depends on where you live. And as we start looking for houses for you and start kind of determining what your needs are for your family and where you want to be, then we can really dial in what you can expect to pay in property taxes. All right, guys, next up is transportation. Now, this is one of those things that is going to be relative to your situation as far as how much you actually spend. Uh, because if you live in an apartment building and you work downstairs right in the leasing office, then obviously your transportation costs are going to be next to none. So a lot of these factors are going to depend on you as well as your lifestyle. But average transportation cost in San Antonio is about $8,900 a year for two people. Now, we have a little bit lower uh, cost per gallon for gas. We're about $3.23 a gallon right now, and the United States average is about $3.43 a gallon, so a little bit cheaper, but nothing too crazy. Where San Antonio differs from a lot of other cities is that we don't have a great public transportation system, right? Um, right. When they built San Antonio and the infrastructure, the city built outward and not upward like a lot of other cities, right? So everything is pretty spread out. So you are having to drive a lot of the times to work and to the grocery store and there's a lot of other places that you're not really gonna be uh, able to walk to or it's not going to be as convenient as some of these other places. Owning a vehicle is gonna be essential for you living here in San Antonio and you are gonna have to commute. If you want to live closer to the city center and use public transportation, you're gonna kind of be really uh, limited inside of the 410 loop. That is a pretty big loop and there's plenty of housing and, and, and things like that within the 410 loop, but that's really where your best public transportation is gonna be. And if so, if you are gonna be using public transportation, you can expect to spend about $1.30 per pass uh, for the day. If you're gonna get a seven day pass, then you can expect to spend about $12. And a monthly pass is gonna run you somewhere around $38 to $40 for a monthly pass on the VIA public transportation system. Now, that being said, just to give you guys a visual reference, um, the average commute to work one way is about 26 minutes. Now, 
that doesn't mean it's 26 miles, right? That could be a long distance and it's all highway, or that could be, you know, you're in a city and you're stuck in traffic. It's all going to be relative to you, but that being said, gas burned is gas burned. So we are a little bit higher than the average, but like I said, we built outward and not upward. All right, guys, everybody wants to know about utilities. That's super important. You guys know that Texas is very hot. So a lot of people's concern is that their electricity bill in the summertime is gonna, is gonna skyrocket. Well, average utility cost, that's gonna include electric, water, and gas, is gonna run you right around $205 a month. Of course, that can fluctuate. I personally know some people who love to keep their air condition at a low 65 degrees it's in the me. summertime. I'm the person. And uh, my family, we can tolerate 72, 73, 74 degrees. So, you know, that's gonna change your utility bill in the summertime, but that's roughly what you can expect to find. Now, when it comes to internet and cable, that's gonna run you somewhere in the neighborhood between 50 and $110. Of course, cable itself now is right around that $50 to $60. And then depending on how many lines you have on your personal cell phone, that's of course gonna, gonna change as well. well. And a lot of people are getting away from cable. They're going to things like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube TV and all these other things as well. So cable may not be relevant to you, but it's still something to consider if you still want cable. And of course, if you were one of those dinosaurs and you still want a landline, you know, I can't help you with that. You're, hey gonna, man. Ha you're gonna have to look those costs up yourself. Hey man, what's wrong with the landline? <laughs> Come on now. All right, guys, and tying into that is going to be your grocery bill, right? So on average per month for a family of four, that's gonna run you about $1,200, just a little over $1,200. Now, again, lots of variables that go into this, right? If you shop at Whole Foods versus if you shop at HEB, which is Maine, uh, the, the real G's know about HEB here, yeah. right? If you're a real G, you hey, shop HEB, at HEB. HEB has groceries on lock in San Antonio. Do, Nobody comes into San Antonio, nobody else. You're gonna have Target groceries, of course. <laughs> you're gonna have Walmart groceries and then you're gonna have HEB, but there's not really gonna be any other major grocery stores other than HEB. Now we do have some Whole Foods, we have some Trader Joe's here as well. And so there's Sprouts. There is Sprouts as well. So if you're into those more upscale, healthier uh, grocery stores, you do have those options, but just be prepared. If you come here, you're gonna hear people talking about HEB. HEB, you That's might be familiar with like Kroger, I think they're national, uh, Randall's, maybe King Supers if you're from Colorado. Some of these, some of these bigger, you know, yeah. uh, chains. But H-E-B is in Texas. H-E-B is king, baby. Okay, when you're moving to a new city, entertainment and how much you're gonna have to spend for your family to go out and have some fun, that's that's a concern, right? I mean, we wanna know like, hey, are we gonna be able to do things when we get to that to that city? Entertainment, again, there's, it's, it's, it's kind relative. of, it's relative, right? To you and your family, what you guys like to do. There are so many things to do here in San Antonio at different times of the year. If you're a foodie and you like to go out or do you like to go camping and you like to visit you know, places outside of San Antonio if you want to travel the state. It really is just kind of all going to depend. Now, for my family, we just went out last night and we just got some dinner. We went to Bubba's restaurant. I don't know if you've ever been there. I haven't yet. Great I restaurant. Yeah. Pizza and burgers are delicious. We're a family of six. We spent $87 on our bill. So that kind of gives you an idea. That's burgers, pizza. Um, didn't really get any drinks, my wife and I, but you know, just kids. You know, movie tickets, I think, you know, you know, those who like to go to the movies, I mean, they probably range between 13 to $15 a pop, depending on where you go. And the day of the week. So there and are the some the theaters week. Monday and Wednesday where, you know, tickets are half off or $5 tickets. So mm -hmm. you still have that going on. And there's lots of different parks that are free to get into. There's lots of different museums that they kind of charge different fees, but they have programs. If you, you can apply for them and you can get free admission to the museums. Uh, so entertainment is kind of one of those things that it's relative and it's hard for us to answer. But if that gives you a good idea, $87 to take six people out to dinner, that's pretty darn good. Right. We do do annual passes at SeaWorld, which will run you a few hundred dollars. Uh, you can do annual passes to uh, Six Flags. Worth it if you have kids. Yeah, Worth absolutely. it if you have kids. My gosh, it's a lifesaver. Absolutely. So a lot of things to do and, um, you know, cost is going gonna, is gonna to depend on what it is that you like to do. Okay, guys, so we wanted to give you a brief overview of what cost of living is like here in San Antonio. We hope that that provided you a little bit of value. Actually, we hope that it provided you a lot of value. And uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and hang out with us. We do post videos every single week and you don't want to miss it. And guys, whether you plan on moving in the next few weeks or even the next few months, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to San Antonio. Thank you so much, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.